been quite a while since we last saw it. What happened? Well, I left my couch surfing host house this morning at around 10, took a bus to St. Julian's, which is quite near Valletta, and now I'm here in a hostel. Not bad. The hostel is called Hostel Malty, and it is one of the cheapest and best ones in the area because you have a jacuzzi on top, you have like nightly activities such as uh, pub crawling or bear crawling, whatever you want to call it, where you just go bear to bear. And you have other things like a rooftop terrace and stuff. I think my one night bed was 13 euro and 50 cent, really, really handy. And as I just said, I'm staying here for one night because tomorrow I'm going to Earth Garden. Yeah, that'd be fun. So I am going to send a letter to my parents from Malta. You know, it's kind of like a postcard. And the thing I really found interesting is that although there is a lot of post offices around, mainly in the towns, they all nearly close at half one at the latest. Some close before then, like one closed at 12.45. So yeah, you need to be early. And right now I'm making my way to the one in St. Julian's in Passaville, P-A-C-D-I-L-L-E, the main Baron district area. I'm going to show you what I see in between my hostel and there. And yeah, join me. This is a brilliant bay right there, mount of St. Julian's. You have a lot of foreign shops, cafes, pubs, like right there is the Dubliner, an Irish pub. And up there was a Polish shop. This is so multicultural, I love it. As you can probably tell, I'm not even in the heart of St. Julian's, the party district, but there's bars, restaurants, cafes, clubs, everywhere. Left, right, center, center, everything is super cheap because like it's small, everything's cheap here. So the post office is located on, I'm not sure which street, but it's directly north from St. Ross Park, or Ross Park, Ross Square, whatever you want to call it. It's the same thing. And it's in Northern St. Julian's. And it's pretty okay, like it's small, but it closes at 1.30, which is awful in my opinion. Hello, Hello. 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 I have made it to the marina of St. Julian's and this is a basic kind of like a bay with a lot of yachts, a lot of rich people, a lot of really nice hotels like you have a Hilton right there and a bunch of luxurious restaurants. So I'm not going to check any of these places out but I'm going to walk around the promenade and just get, get a few pictures, spend a few time, sunbathe maybe. So this marina is pretty beautiful, but it turns out that it is cut off at the end due to building work. So you can't actually join up with the promenade. Yeah, a bit of a um, sad story, but I'm just going to go back, trace my roots back and go to the promenade now. Do you feel so so hostel talk, I haven't spent the whole night there yet, so I don't really know, but for first impressions. The hostel I'm staying at has two floors with beds, and each room has roughly six bags like I mentioned. They're not too big, but they're great. They're all bunk beds, so you have two, two, and two. There's not a lot of room in between, but you have bottom shelves where you can put in your own stuff, which is great. You have a way to lock it, like with a key, brilliant and you get a fresh duvet and stuff, so I'm really happy about that. I already met one person and she seemed lovely. It's pretty really nice. There is a main lounge area with a TV, unlimited like channels, etc. Really nice stuff. And yeah, I'm really liking this. The kitchen is pretty well equipped as well. You have a lot of pots of love, nice love, cutlery. You can do anything, but you know, be asking to use your own things or share with others and then clean up after yourself, which is completely fine. I don't mind that. You have computers, we have bathroom, downstairs. I'm really enjoying this hostel. And up top there's sun terrace and there's like a swing that a chair, these really soft seats, a bunch of chairs, and there is also a bar. And one other thing, there's a jacuzzi that you can use. No problem. But you need to take a shower first. The view is phenomenal from here. I can see pretty much a lot of the town and the sunshine is great. Right now I'm staying in the shade just because I don't want to get sunburned anymore. <laughs> anymore a keyword. And yeah, I'm really liking this. 